So, um, Donald Trump and Twitter are having a lover's spat, apparently. Um, this all started when Donald Trump has been tweeting this conspiracy theory that Joe Scarborough, Scarborough, sorry, um, killed a staff member when he was working in D.C., when he was in, in the Senate, I believe. I can't honestly remember. But th there is this conspiracy that there was this girl working for him, and she uh, she had a heart condition, and she fainted, um, collapsed, hit her head, she died. Horrible situation, by the way. Uh, Joe Scarborough wasn't even there, apparently, that day, but wh whatever. This has led into this crazy conspiracy theory that he killed her. Uh, and I, I'm really, honestly, I'm let down with the conspiracy theory, uh, because everything I've looked into, the theory itself, doesn't show that there was any intention for it. Like, I could see if there was emails or text messages or, or, or they had been seen out, like, at dinner or something, and then she ends up dead. Okay, that's weird. But I haven't seen anything that leads to that except for she just died mysteriously. Oh, so I'm sure Joe Scarborough did it. Like, how often is the boss ever the one implicated in a murder when someone dies mysteriously? Seems odd. Uh, also, um, just to clear it up, a uh, medical examiner who uh, proceeded over her, her autopsy and her boyfriend or husband at the time, his husband, uh, have, have both came out and said, no, this is that's not what happened. No one killed her. It was a, a tragic incident. She had a heart condition what happened well anyway donald trump had been tweeting about it and um twitter received a ton of backlash on these tweets a lot of people writing complaining and twitter said that they were going to implement a tool that would help with the situation now obviously the uh, wine drinking karens <clears throat> wanted tw trump kicked off of twitter and, and that's just dumb you can't do that he's the uh he deserves a mouthpiece. He needs a mouthpiece. We need him to have a mouthpiece. And he decided that Twitter was going to be that mouthpiece. Um, so you, you can't stifle the president. You do not want to do that. Um, <clears throat> so what they did is they added a fact check on his tweets. Not all of his tweets. It's a few tweets. And interesting enough, they put the fact check on a tweet that wasn't even about the whole Joe Scarborough conspiracy. <laughs> Um, in fact, it was on mail-in voting, um, because Donald Trump did have a problem with mail-in voting, he said there was going to be fraud and, and this and that, and it's not reliable, we should not use that for the election, um, that's a completely different other story. I will say, though, that, uh, Donald Trump himself used mail-in voting, um, uh, in the 2018 elections, so, you know, whatever, um, but... The funny thing about this fact check is both sides are pissed off about it. And it's kind of, at its base, I'm for it, right? Uh, not just because it's Trump, but I think every politician should be fact checked. Um, some politicians, like Joe Biden, tell people like Charlemagne the God, hey, the NAACP has, or NAACP has, um, uh, they have supported me every time I've ran for office. And then it turns out, no, the NAACP didn't never actually ever supported him or any politician for that matter. <laughs> Things like that. I would love them to be fact-checked on. And I'd love them for them to be fact-checked right then and there so a story can't run or uh, a narrative can be built before it's taken down. Uh, so it, for that, yeah, okay. Um, but... <laughs> Twitter had already messed up by, um, for one, attaching the fact check to an, a, a different tweet. <laughs> Not even the one in in, uh, in the situation itself. The other problem, and this is the cynical side of me, and I think it's fair, uh, who's the fact checkers? Do we have equal representation? Do we have... Let's say three people who are more legacy liberal media, uh, three people from the right, three people from progressive zones, and then three people from the alt-right, and then three people in the middle. Something like that. 
By the way, that kind of process would take forever and nothing would ever get fact-checked. <laughs> um, do we have that? No, we don't. Um, in fact, the only thing that we do know is there's a, a, a few uh, ex-journalists from like CNN and uh, Politico, Politico, I believe, uh, that are involved in the fact-checking process, but we don't even know how, how deeply involved they are. Twitter has not made a lot of that knowledge very public. Um, so aside from the fact that I believe that uh, it's just another way for legacy media to ram their narratives down our throat, uh, I'm totally against it, obviously. But also, the epic fail that Twitter had with this is the fact that um, people like Donald Trump and his supporters and the right wing in general all called this a an attack on President Trump, that it went too far, and that it is against the Constitution because it uh, it curbs his First Amendment. Okay, so as where I agree with everything stated except for the First Amendment aspect. And I say that because, as I said before, we cannot take away his mouthpiece because he is the president. Because he uses this platform to convey his messages to the people. Okay? But let's talk about the Constitution real quick. The Constitution was made for the people, not the government. So, Donald Trump, the president, doesn't really have First Amendment rights. The First Amendment rights were created for us, the people, to use against the government. Not for the government to rule over, and in this situation, citizens. Think about, you know, principally, <laughs> I, I, I'm torn on that one. Because, yeah, you have a government entity, the highest government entity, going after a, a citizen. And then trying to trying to claim First Amendment rights. No, that's not the way that works. But again, I'm not for this. I just think that that argument is um, shit. <laughs> but then you also have the other side of this argument, who are also butthurt, by the way. <clears throat> the uh, Don Lemons and the Joe Bidens and the Amy Klobuchar's and Kamala Harris and the wine drinkers in their cellar, who said, um, well, how are we supposed to know which one of Trump's tweets are lies now? Because... If they all don't have fact checks, how do we know? Which is a good point, by the way, and does set up a dangerous narrative that uh, if a tweet doesn't have a fact check, President Trump or not, any tweet doesn't have a fact check, then what, we're supposed to believe that it's real? But furthermore, they said it doesn't go far enough, and that's their problem. They wanted it to be more stringent, and they wanted Trump ultimately kicked off of Twitter. It's dumb. It's dumb. I Ultimately, if Twitter is going to be the one who determines what is real and what is fake, then I would rather them not have that ability and everything just to be up there. Best disinfectant, the sunlight. People will read it, see it, digest it, and decide if it's real or not. And this is one of those situations where I think if he hadn't gone after legacy media, they'd have let it go. No one would have cared. It would have been done. Uh, and, you know, the classic saying, don't let a good crisis go to waste. Twitter, legacy media all got together and said, wait, wait, wait. This is a chance that we can further force our narrative down their throat. And, yeah, we're going to get a lot of people on our side and they're going to laugh and they're going to say, haha, Donald Trump got fact checked and blah, blah, blah. But then when AOC or Bernie Sanders or someone they like tweets something we're gonna fact check them too we're gonna fact check everyone except for people like joe biden and I, I truly believe that's exactly what they did because i believe that's how they think i think that's how they always believe whatever they can do for you know the wine drinking elite one percent ruling class it's how they believe, because that's where they all get all their money. 
Anyway, I'm curious what you guys think about this. There's definitely two sides to it, and it's very interesting. And and both arguments, by the way, are, are garbage. I just I just want to be clear on that. <laughs> both of the gar both of the arguments going on right now are stupid. <laughs> but I'm curious what your thoughts are. Anyway, uh, you guys take care. If you guys want to check me out, by the way, on Twitter, it is JC Show VIP and J Dylan on Facebook, which I am hardly ever on either one. But still. Anyway, take care, guys.